Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of scatter plots. This is standard 5.9b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a youth soccer team, eight players, and we got a table here that shows their height and weight, the height in inches, the weight in pounds. And so we're simply supposed to represent this as a scatter plot. Now, the only trick, if you want to call it a trick here, is that we've got our height. Take a look at our height. So our height is on the x-axis. And then the weight right, is on the y-axis. So really, they're giving us ordered pairs, but they're giving it to us vertically, right? So this first one right here, we just kind of need to read it like this. So this first one's going to be an X of 64, and a Y of 105, which is a little bit different than what we're, we're used to seeing it horizontally, side by side, right? The second one's going to be an X of 66, and a Y of 115, all right? So if you want, you could write that down for all of them, but we could just kind of look at it vertically and, and just know that our X's are going to be on the top row. I'll write it again over here so it's a little clear. Our Y's are going to be on the bottom row. All right, so let's see if we can just find these. It doesn't look like they're necessarily in any order, um, like in, they're not sorted by uh, weight or height. So let's just look for like 64105. Okay, so 64. Now, where is 105 going to be? Okay, so 64, looking at F right there. So in between the 104 and the 108 is going to be 106, which means my 105 is not going to be right there. My 105 looks like it's going to be right around there. So already my F is looking not so good because that has, uh, this really is what this is, is that's a 64, that's 106 if you look at that scale factor, and that's incorrect. So let's just mark F off. Now this is looking pretty good right there. I've got the 64105, 64105. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see if I can find those in the other ones. Yeah, it looks like I'm finding that in H and J as well. Okay, so I've eliminated F. Let's go to 66115. So here's my 66. Now my right in between my 116 and 112 is going to be 114. So I'm going to need to be right there. So yeah, that's my 66, 115 is between the 114 and 115. So that's looking pretty good. I see it on H. And I see it right there on J. All right, so we're looking good. Uh, ooh, 64.5 and 112. All right. Oh, that's pretty easy. Take a look at this. We got 64 and 65. So right there, that's going to be your 64.5. So different scale factors for your X and your Y axes. So 64.5, and I'm looking for a weight of 112. Okay, right there. Yes. 64.5, 112. All right. All three of them are still good. Let's do 68.5 and 124. So there's my 68.5. Oh, there's my 124 right up there. 68.5, 124, yes. 68.5, 124. Okay, we're looking good. Uh, 67 and 116. 67, and there's my 116, yes. 67 and 116. 67, oh, that's where my 116 needs to go. All right, J has fallen off. Let's do 66 and 110. Yeah, there's my 110 right there. Ah, look at that, 66 and 110 goes right there. So there's nothing there for H. Let's just double check the other two are there. 65 and 120, yes. And then 64.5 and 115, yep, yeah, right there. All right, a lot, of, a lot of work and eliminating, but we got rid of F, H, and J. Our answer here is going to be G.